Magnum Medicare Private Limited At Magnum Medicare we give a lot of emphasis on quality control and product testing our products conform to various statutory requirements such as ISI of India NIOSH of USA and CE of Europe in the laboratory samples are derived from production department according to sampling plans each batch is made available for dispatch only after it passes all the tests pertaining to the particular standard all the testing equipments are periodically calibrated to maintain their accuracy and efficiency thank you quality consciousness pervades through all sections at magnum medicare every product is run through scientifically designed multi level stringent tests before they are certified as sellable there are several tests that are conducted at the manufacturing facility such as filtration efficiency and breathing resistance to find the filtration efficiency of any respirator it is challenged with reagent sodium chloride which is dissolved in distilled water at 1% of volume this sodium chloride solution is atomized by an aerosol generator and sprayed on the test respirator some of the sodium chloride particles penetrates respirator these particles are burned on hydrogen flame and flame changes its intensity and color which are noted through a photometer and recorded on a computer the concentration of this atomized submicron aerosol is measured before and after it has passed through the respirator to determine the efficiency at the same time the resistance relative to the test air flow is noted the respirators are classified from the results of the efficiency and resistance tests usage in an occupational work area is determined by assessing the results obtained and the working environment total inward leakage it is very important to ensure correct fitting of the respirator while working in hazardous conditions in a typical fit testing of a respirator test equipment sodium chloride is dissolved in distilled water at 2% of the volume 2 liters of this solution are filled in the aerosol generator This sodium chloride solution is atomized by an aerosol generator and this aerosol is used to fill a test chamber. The person is made to wear respirator and walk on the treadmill inside the chamber. While walking the subject is asked to do various exercises like brisk walking, turning head up and down, side to side, reading loudly, etc for 5 minutes each exercise. During the course of the above activities the air inside the respirator is sampled These particles are burned on a hydrogen flame and the result is noted through photometer and computer software The sodium chloride concentration inside the respirator could be the result of aerosol leaking in from the sides of the respirator or aerosol penetrating through respirator Adjusting elastic strap No clip and proper donning of the respirator will reduce the leakage considerably before entering occupational work area. When 10 subjects are tested for the 5 exercises each, the total inward leakage for 46 exercises out of total 50 exercises should be less than 25% for FFP1, 11% for FFP2 and 5% for FFP3. Carbon dioxide content of inhalation air Sheffield head wearing mask is connected to breathing machine. Carbon dioxide is injected at the rate of 5% of volume in the breathing machine. The air containing carbon dioxide is exhaled by dummy. Some of the carbon dioxide escapes through respirator and the remaining carbon dioxide which is trapped in the dead space is inhaled by dummy in the second cycle. The air sample is drawn at the inhalation point and is tested by carbon dioxide analyzer. The total carbon dioxide injected in the breathing machine was 5% of the total volume. At inhalation point it should be less than 1%. This indicates the respirator is capable of getting rid of carbon dioxide exhaled by human body and it is safe for the user. TSI 8130 automated filter tester TSI 8130 automated filter tester is equipped with latest light scattering photometer technology and has a product testing cycle time of less than 6 seconds which makes testing possible for large sample size 
In cases where 100% testing is desirable, TSI 8130 is very useful. In the actual operation, sodium chloride particles generated are mixed in the chamber. It is heated and moisture is removed. Sodium chloride particles are then charged on the filter, respirator. Two light scattering photometers simultaneously measure upstream and downstream aerosol concentration levels. The particle penetration value is determined from the ratio of these two readings. At the same time, the penetration resistance, breathing resistance, is noted. The remaining aerosol is cleaned and sent for another test. Apart from these, there are several testing equipments to test flammability of respirator, to check the mechanical strength of exhalation valve, nose clip and tensile strength of elastic strap. Hot air oven and deep freezer are used for conditioning of respirator prior to testing. Magnum Medicare products have applications in wide range of industries including health and hygiene. Magnum Medicare Private Limited